Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome to another exciting, dividing, and amazing, spectacular propaganda course from your host and Pearl Dane. The one, the only master propaganda heroes like defender of the fatherland. Off here to a 1v1 on glorious Mellow Road in North of this pineapple. The fruit dude here with the lead armored grand offensive and Overwatch with infantry medical supply bullets and special south of this Night Raven. Fighting for America, freedom, democracy, pineapple pie. No, wait, that's. Another kind of pie, but let's just keep it at that. All the way here with Airborne, forming up with the second infantry division. We got Pathfinders, 50 cals, paratroopers, paradox, enter tank guns, and P47 triple infantry versus the other formation. Oh, we got Grand Offensive of Pineapple with Panzer Fusilier, smoke bombs, Infrage Sturm Gewehr 44, Panzer Commanders, and the Command Target here, forming up the Führer Begleit Brigade. A bit of it there as well. So as always, a big hearty thanks to my patron supporters, my own company heroes. You too can join the ranks by pledging on Patreon and becoming a patron. Or you can also just, you know, donate via PayPal. Links are in the video description. And also, you know, comment, like, share, subscribe, press the bell button. Keep the algorithms going in my favor. Anyways, double fault condition, Sturm Pioneer versus Dub Rod Fort. Therefore, Night Raven. German army sending out center and east. American army east and west. Less center focus there from... Night Rebel, Night Raven, probably looking to get some pressure there on his opponent's fuel in the east. Not bad there, not bad. And so in the way that Pilot was currently overextended, could definitely himself quite open to that. But yeah, he's definitely hitting hard there. Two Ralph Scorts means he's going to push up that fuel and Pineapple will really only meet you have the Storm Pine to deal with that. The Fort's going to have to rush in, he's going to need more infantry. It's going to be a bit tough there. You do get some Panzer Facility there, thumbs up to Pineapple. Third Ralph Scort there for Night Raven. Fun fact about the Führer Big Light and Führer Grenadier Brigades. They actually had the Allies thinking that the Groß Deutschland Panzergrenadier Division had been moved to the Western Front because of their presence, but they hadn't. They've just been created from parts of the Groß Deutschland, which were used for the uh, Wolfschanze so there on the Eastern Front as uh, security units. Fun fact. Bit of a longer story there. But, anyways, Ralph Court setting up from base of Night Raven. Actually, inch enough does not swing for the fuel, actually, swings westwards. That's an interesting development here from Night Raven. All the way to catch a Fort Court completely off guard, completely routes it, swing hard with his focused forces. And part of course, being overextended no matter what you're looking at, it's going to have a hard time dealing with this. So it's going to need to, like, you know, form up a defensive line and stop these Americans. Now, he goes for a very long swing here at the car put our way. Well executed there by Night Raven. Thumbs up. We got the Panzer trying to deal with them. They're definitely not equipped for that. They are actually weaker than Fultzkorn is to start with. There's only once they get upgraded, they become a lot better. So definitely a bit tough there for Panzer. Ralph got the Sturm Pioneers up close. The Sturm Pioneer can't deal with them, but they're actually not fighting at the full active range. Ralph got goes against some great hits in there. So really rough start here for Panzer. Was Night Raven just hits up. There you go. Night Raven starts to extend home to get a weapon. The Sturm Pioneer definitely not a bad attempt here, but again, does make it easier for Pineapple. Now, say, say, put a counter attack back. On, you know, some footing there, but still really good opening here for the American player. And Pineapple's gonna have to work hard to turn them around. There we go, Panzer for Slea moving forward. So we got the Rav Squad here by the Eastern Fuel Point. Moving ahead here, Fulton's Pulse has got the Rav Squad back here, troops reinforcing, healing. Bit of skirmishing there. Rav Squad grabbing the Southern Point there. More Panzer for Slea here for Pineapple. Rav Squad being routed, ambulance were there for Night Raven. And send packing. Still, it turned out he could be in a fast 50 cal here from Night Raven. Or, you know, fast light vehicles. Oh, that's going to be a challenge there for Pineapples pushing out. There we got two Panzer Fusilier, two Fultz Grenadiers. You're going to have to, of course, take up fast and get out some upgrades for them as soon as possible. Some G for the Freeze do add some significant punch to them. As they get a sixth man, of course, a bunch of G for the Freeze, which is really good. North here, Panzer Fusilier, the Echelon Squad. They should definitely have a chance to win that one. Flying out those for Dante Amerikanen. And there we go. Try out the Schwerer Wehrmacht Schlepper. So pushing back here well as opponent. Good work there by Pineapple. Lieutenant Forbes here on its own. Need for Cap not to get a focus down with the Germans infantry in return. It looks like here Pineapple's focus on the rear so home to get a weapon on them and also keep the munitions point out of American hands, at least in German hands. It looks like he switches up again to the Lieutenant. Point in the dust become or remain German there. Good for Pineapple. Sturm Pioneer Fultz is the lieutenant, going to deal with them fast. We got the Panzer Fusilier following up. Truck going to like except for the Belgrade headquarters here for Pineapple. Lieutenant being shot to bits. Men got probes in the south, but that's set and out. Raves now formed up a fresh counter attack force. All three Ralph squads heading northwards here to smash into Pineapple's western flank here. That's it. We got here Pineapple also flanking up behind here, going for the car punch while digging in, in fact. Very good. 
Panzer for Zlia pushed back as Night Realm's forces push ahead here valiantly for freedom and democracy. Panzer getting focused on and quickly retreating very sensibly. Still got the carp on there. Bag of headquarters going up. Sea good. And back here reinforcing healing as we got the ambush up for Night Rain providing healing for his men. Always good, always good. Always good. Ralph Court keeping up the pursuit here, pushing forward for freedom and democracy. Bag of headquarters ready here for pineapple. South here we got the forces of the Panzer for Zlia Lieutenant and the Echelons. Of what they're being routed. No mercy they shown. No mercy shown. No quarter given. And there's a good chance of wipe here. That's definitely going to hurt Pineapple here in the uh, opening moments of the game. There we go. Excellent killer for Night Raven. Really just highlighting the firepower of the Rifle School today, in particular on the move. Troops setting out there. Getting the Mechanized upgrade done, in which case we can get upgrading the Panzer Fleet here with the Recon Package. He's got more or less missions for two of them, so definitely get that going. Got a flat half track as well here, getting a lot of firepower, though mid-term you should also consider ending in some orbs down, but he definitely needs more infantry versus Night Raven. Night Raven so far, well, he has gone for Airborne. We haven't seen much of the, you know, parts of like Pathfinder in a 50 car being airdropped in. May want to consider that in the nearer future here versus... Pineapple, Stuart was saying Norfolk to the light tank here for Night Raven. Very good, very good. Bit of skirmishing here in the center. Flak half track, they're almost done here for Pineapple. Fifth car, they're being airdropped. Very good, unless you're the Germans. Unless they drop it on your side of the map, which seems very unlikely, unless Night Raven makes a really big mistake. D43 upgrade there. Second one can also be, of course, upgraded with the D43 upgrade. Definitely should get that going as soon as possible. Flat half track out for pineapple. Very good. We Here we go. And it's about 3G for the fleets, I believe. And then, of course, we can upgrade with the sixth man. Definitely a problem there for the lieutenant, and the other infantry can run into them. It's interesting enough not upgrading the second squad yet. The cannon following up for pineapple, of course, expecting light vehicles. Very good. Lieutenant being routed. Defend the fuel point. Thumbs up there. Still, good, consistent Havastan play, but Pineapple constantly going for Night Raven's car point, constantly looking to like slow down the fuel income there, and that would gain advantage. Very good play here by Pineapple. Pineapple from the south, flat crafting towards the center here for Pineapple. A Ked and Rever ready there for Pineapple. Ralph going to fire from the flat crafter, now flat crafter, and then he's in trouble with the Steward Light Tank, and lacking any infant support here. Panem's like going to lose it here. He definitely punished there for, well, underestimating how fast the steward can get out there. Pop smoke here, hoping that can work. And oh, the shot does miss some really tight maneuvering here by Pineapple. But will it be enough versus the steward? I think the answer to that is very likely. Yup, nope. And the punch is in trouble as well here. But there we go. That's a really great counter push here from Night Raven. He took out the flat calf tag. He's got a 50 cut on top of the steward. And Pineapple now. Is definitely a bit the one with the shorter end of the stick here against the Americans. Medics on the way there. Panzers are getting ready. Both scorps are upgraded with G33s. Very good. He may want to consider like just taking up fast and going for some orbital done since orbital done with light machine guns are sort of right now. Could be a problem here for Night Rain to deal with out of nowhere. Flanking the fifth guard of the Sturm Punion with the Sturm Punion balance can be a tough call, but not impossible. But an active public and cast grenade there. Stuart there pushing the back deck, trying part to get them out of the cover there, so this fifth captain's pressing, of course, watching some attacking, very good in the southie. Bit of skirmishing as well, retreat from Night Raven, lots of back and forth action between Night Raven and Pineapple, neither side giving the other player much respite. And we got an MD-34 for Pineapple, of course, needs some suppressive firepower now that he lost his flat calf track. Going for another truck, so that's going to be a, you know, aggressively pushed Schwer punched quarters, being like he can't get the Panther fight anytime soon. The Orbs of Darden, could contribute a lot of firepower here versus Night, Ra Night Raven's infantry as the Orbital Garden are largely superior to them. Yes, they should be, really. I'm just grabbing the center here. Stood Light Tank rushing through the south here for Night Raven. Truck halfway down there for Pineapple. We got 525, so definitely one area where Pineapple does have a significant lead over his opponent is, in fact, you know, victory points. But also at this rate, tech. That said, 
Nightrim does have some other advantages which are definitely going to be you know, important to keep in mind. No further tech yet here, no weapon racks for Night Raven. Does have a lot of munitions floating, so the faster you know, turn that munitions advantage into another kind of advantage, the better. Like, you know, weapons advantage, the Ralph Scorp, of course, do a lot of good here for them. We do get some paratroopers, so they are very likely to get upgraded for something, and that will, you know, be a good use of those munitions for sure. And the 34 Panzer will give us the Ralph Scorp, truck setting out there, the Schwerer Wehrmacht Schlepper, Ralph Scorp being handled up close by the Panzer Fusilier. Route it. Ralph Scorp around the center, Ralph Scorp in the west was there as well. Stuart hauling back, there we go, Parrot was ready, going for the double browning light machine guns, not bad, personally I do prefer the Thompsons, but that's just my personal preference, I mean both are obviously good upgrades. Punch was riding the distance up north there, very good. We have Punch being set up with the calf point, he's not I think setting up further because of like, you know, risk of getting, becoming an easy target for American anti-tank guns, knowing there's for example airborne. Meaning they can quickly just drop in a bunch of anti tank guns and then quickly punch him if he's not careful. So, very sensible there. Certainly, many an Orbital Commander's players seen the game, you know, effectively lost because they've got too aggressive with the Schwerer punch at quarters and it became target practice for Allied anti tank guns. If that makes a pass for the MU 34. Sturm Pioneer vs. the Rav Squad up north here, Point Big Seas over the Panzer for Slira. We got 492 vs. 3 and 12. Taking the field point, we have punted cool is almost done. There we go, anti-tank rifle and Stuart Light Tank. Not gonna, you know, buy a lot of time, but it does allow the Panzer to make a reposition without conducting a full retreat here. There we go, authorizing first. Could have gone for some orbs on first, then immediately upgraded them. I think that might have been slightly better than my optics, but are we authorizing it? Definitely is not a bad idea either. Fast. Pursuing here the Stuart Light Tank, gonna try and finish it off there. But there you go. Night Raven quick moving to stop that by quickly counterattacking with infantry. Very good. Plus an anti tank gun here from a Night Raven. Also very good. Stand up between the two machine guns in the east as most of the fighting is now happening northwest here between Pineapple and Night Raven between the infantry. So it's a bit amusing in a well the infantry so the machine guns aren't. Grenade off here. Whiffed on that one. But the Stuart Pine saving to take too much damage from the paratroopers and are forced to retreat. Going for the eastern point here, not bad. Can go for some orbs without nine again. I'd probably recommend that at this stage here for pineapple. But whatever upgrade he gets, I think both are good. Personally, again, I probably would go for the infant assault rifles, but that's just me. Stooping up the flank here, folks are constantly be careful with more punts around here for pineapple. Still nothing out of the Shriar Punted Calders. Ralph Scott being focused on by all the G-43s and Karnak TKs. Almost getting a wipe, but that's going to be great here for Pineapple. Could land that. A grenade here would actually be a good idea as well on the Lieutenant, to be honest. But I think the opting for that is gone now. There we go, Shilhan Granada. And, oh, he walks straight into it. Almost suffering a full wipe. They're really close call for Night Raven. Really close call. Still nothing out of the Shriar Punted Calders. Still no are done. I definitely think you should push for someone right now. Night Raven has five infantry squads in comparison. He's only got four, so... Getting another one to match would be a great idea in there. You go all of a sudden, final wave of pineapple. Say good, say good. That said, most of the map is now in the hands of Night Ravenson because, again, he's got more infantry and he's also got, you know, more support for his infantry. Really just highlighting the, you know, issue that part of Magic Lamb himself in by losing the flak half track so swiftly. He hasn't even salvaged it for a bit of extra fuel. Definitely should do that. Enforcement healing. All of a sudden, squad almost under for pineapple. And go again with the shoots. Misses to it like tank, not great, but there you go. The orbs of Darden are ready. Funnel back towards the base here for now. And then moving out. But what upgrade does it go for? Does it go for the light machine gun? Does it go for the infinite assault rifle? Oh, he does go for the assault rifle. Very nice. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. The assault rifles have a bit closer range firepower advantage of the light machine gun, but also they do get bonuses that mean they're actually better against units in heavy cover compared to the light machine gun. Pretty much. In unit, but again, the light machine gun is also really powerful. I mean, you know, no mistake there. Well, I've got being focused on by the opposite, and there we go, pushed back. Very good in the south here, fight from the there, continues between Night Raven and Pineapple. He's closing in on Panther Forming, we'll do get the major out there for Night Raven, plus 
He's actually much closer to the tank here, so that's going to be great there for Night Raven. Getting out of Chairman here fast versus Pine, I think, is going to be quite good. They could also set up for other things. Lieutenant Fox, Ralph Walk, the attack here, trying to keep the German from the fuel point. Himmel up north, bit of progress, but that's still moving in. I'm a bit surprised they didn't send the orbital down south, to be honest, here, to help assist in getting the fuel point out of Night Raven's hands as fast as possible. That would have been, to me, at least the slightly more obvious move, but oh well. He's defining him, got a bad hand card up. Nope, no gun out it. But there you go, Schwab hand calls, trying to suppress Ralph Court. There we go. Lights of pressure in the center, we got Hey finding out. We can move to assist the orb side here versus Stuart Light Tank. Ralph Court being focused on the orb side. There you go, great hit. Still on the center of a tank here from Night Raven. Almost got the Stuart there, though, almost. Need to get that fuel point back, though, for Deutschland. Mines there, not bad. Good idea there, in fact. Ralph Scott pulling back in the might in the face of the mighty Orbital Darden. Heavily equipped with the finest weaponry the German industry can manage at this part of the war. Paratroopers here versus the Orbital Darden. Cut the punches around here to assist though. That set I think he needs to treat the Orbital Darden soon. That set the paratroopers are out in the open themselves, or at least alone light like, cover taking a lot of damage as well there. But Kevin around it in the center there, push forward. See machine gun Stroom Pimini holding back the Americans, but they got a 50 car on their own. Eastern fuel point finding them claimed to have a pineapple very close to the Panther 4. Night Raven's still not going for any tanks. This is definitely starting to look a bit strange. It makes me wonder what exactly this planning here versus pineapple. Could clear out the entertainment here. That's only a great coup there for pineapple, putting them in, grab it and run off with it. But it looks like we got Americans arriving in in large enough numbers to force the Panzer's leader to retreat. Plus, of course, the light tank being a big issue. Ralph's called Rowdy, Stum Punira, Panzer's in the job. They're, in fact, close to the on those Panzer's leader already. That's incredibly good. And certainly highlights just how powerful they become with, you know, the G43 upgrades to really just get a significant boost in firepower. But the problem is getting them there. And that's typically why most other commodity players don't really bother with, you know, Panzer's leader because, again, on start, they are basically weaker yet more expensive full gun ideas which typically means you're not hugely sold on them right away but again they do scale immensely better than full gun ideas though to compensate need to treat that panther squad before it gets hosed we got more orbs on here for pineapple not a bad idea you can also go for the panther 4 it does put him into like, you know, a very aggressive number of infantry scores, six, but against you can manage six, six if you're good enough. But it's definitely not what I'd recommend to everyone, but still, two orbital and scores is nothing to scoff at. It's not something most orbital crimson players like heavily invest in, but like, you know, a pair of and scores really just represents a significant like infantry power concentration that, you know, tends to do a lot of damage well handled. So there you go, second orbital and score ready up north, major ground the point here. We'll have to see what the upgrades to that one with. I mean, more info at assault rifles honestly wouldn't be bad, though. We could also, of course, go for the lap machine here, go for a mix of weapons. We shall, of course, see what pineapple commits to there, but, you know, either of the two would be what well worth considering. There goes Chairman to find the way for Night Raven. Pineapple can now go for the Panther 4. Of course, at this stage, he may, you know, get a bit greedy and try and solve for the target tank, but I think the current situation, as is, I think that might be a bit too greedy here from Pineapple to try to solve for the target tank right away, even like, you know, two Orbital Garden squads on the field. I think you should just push for more immediate medium armor. There we go. Pantherful module for Pineapple. Very good. Thumbs up. And there we go. Upgrading the second Orbital Squad with the Infrared for It's Infrared Assault Rifles as well. Very good. Machine setting up here. But there we go. Orbital on the flank here as well. That should be a swift suppression there and an easy route here for Pineapple. Making progress north. Orbital retreating. Punch for Slea. Fox moving forward. See it. Very good. Stuart supporting. And there you go. M4 A3 Sherman tank here. Ready for Night Raven, the 2nd Armored Division. Panther 4 those almost done here for Pineapple. Okay, we're moving forward. So up north here, we've got the Optimus Rob Squad. You need your treat there. Nut room knows better than to, you know, throw men at the Orbital Garden like that. And there you go. Second squad upgraded. So again, two Orbital on squads now with infant assault rifles. That can definitely do a lot of damage very fast if, you know, utilized correctly and aggressively. 
North he punches almost easily. There you go. In fact, they gain the instant right as I say that. Which that gives an action to sprint ability, which is always quite good to have, to be honest, if you remember to use it. Jumping about, they got the machine. Great kill there for Night Raven Sherman. North Heat Punch being focused down there. Not enough support there. Machine and Recruit, Panther Force setting up for Pineapple. Of course, Night Raven can already, already has the resources more or less for another Sherman. He just needs the manpower, which is, you know, a minute and a half away or so. Maybe close to two minutes, but he definitely has the fuel. Need to treat those orbs of Darden. Reinforcing healing. Stood in hot pursuit. Panther engaging the major. Definitely get that upgraded. I would recommend the Panther Commander, though the pin up machine is still an excellent upgrade as well. The enemy is overrunning one of our capture points. Grab the center here with the Sturm Pioneer. Nice hit from the Shem the Sturm Pioneer. Kept him up. Good hit there from the Panther as well. Shem down to half of. Good chance at getting a kill here. Very good chance. And yup. Sherman down. Death mistake by Night Raven. Got total confident with this Sherman tank. Alarm here for an easy kill from Pineapple. Thumbs up. And south. Good progress there. North here though. Panther's leader. And running into each other with the Stuart Light tank. Does get some nice kills in there on Night Raven though. No wipes. Sherman need repairs. Or Panther won't need repairs. So Sherman. Well, the Sherman is in need of a scrap dealer. North Hitch reinforcing healing. Should head eastwards there, I think. We got 220 numbers to 323. Night Ravens now managed to turn big two point advantage strongly, or at least decent in his favour. Pretty much melting away there. Pineapple's lead. We got that lightning for kind of pineapple. Bring in some artillery. I think that's a very good investment there from Pineapple. Thumbs up. Another show there for Night Raven for the second armor division. Panther 4 being fixed up slowly. Still no upgrades. Paratroop tank for the south string to the opposite button here. Moving on the center as well with the opposite on support there. Line for them almost done. There you go, Panthers is caught here. Further north, a bit of skirmishing. A lot of action across the entire front. And there you go, like to infant, like a shit's scene already here for Pineapple, the fruit dude. Bit of stand up in the south here. Panther moving forward, it's gonna go for that machine gun. Still not great on the Panther for the from Pineapple though. Sooner the better, I'd say. Second Sherman right there for Night Raven in the second armor division. Ready to confront those crowds. Prepared from the bounty in the flank, taking fire from the machine gun there. Gobs and Knamu to finish them off, at least force a retreat there. And of course, if he doesn't retreat, then that's a wipe. Could soon go for second pen for Mr. Pineapple. Of course, he may also be tempted to try and stall from the command target here on. She needs to get out of that building before you know it gets completely cleared out. Okay, I'm ready. Panther one moves well. He'll finally get in the Panther Commander there. Thumbs up to Pineapple. Could have done that sooner, but you know, at least did it. Stood running forwards. Oh, mine that just laid down got set off with Stood. Nice there for Night Raven. Definitely sucks a bit for Pineapple. Rob Cook grabbed some victim. We got the Orbsled and plus the Panther one's here to deal with them. Rob's Squad Factor just needs to get out. In fact, he is holding up for a bit longer than he expected he would there. He does suffer some mind losses, but he could have suffered much worse, to be honest. Lime's gone fine with another machine here for Pineapple. The way he's spending so much manpower now, we take to close to the Panda 4 feels a bit like he's actually going to try and solve for the Tiger. Fox Squad White Minion is now only done with Panzer Facilita and the Orbs of Garden, plus a Strion Pioneer Squad. Forward here, fifth kill opening up here from the south. Parachute from the scene as well. But we got the opposite cover at the flank here. Bit more concentration of the you know, elite infantry from Pineapple. Very good. Got a wipe there. Maybe those wiped, wiped out. Not a big loss there, to be honest. I can need to get out of there. Pentacle flying where they got the opposite behind the back of far as well. And the paratroopers are dropping like very large flies. 
Got to hit on the Panther while the anti tank and trimming forwards. Jackson tanks are there for Night Raven. Pineapple is possibly again going for something bigger than the Panther 4 here. At least we'll see in a few moments. He could go for suppose for the Panther or the Tiger tank though. Honestly, I probably just advise another Panther 4 here. And just getting more aggressive with what he's got in a more focused manner. So we've got 214 versus 252. Orbs on booby trap in the southern point. Very good. Thumbs up. The Geometry, in fact, big users of booby traps, having a variety of them. Some of them were rather fascinating. For example, in some cases, they'd actually just place a mortar bomb under the floorboards of a house and just, you know, set it up so when something you hit a specific floorboard, you set off the mortar bomb and kill everyone inside the room. As an example. Gem sitting out there. Nice shot from the Pentafall, big assaulty head on. There you go, though he does have mind to be spotting the boot trap, the Pentafall that sets us off. Sherman 40 for Night Raven. Shot fired on the opposite, good hit there from the Sherman. Set Jackson Tank show ready here for Night Raven for freedom and democracy. Shots being fired there up north here, MG 34 being flanked in the Sword Light Tank. And we got Rough Course well, at least even as he's making the big push in the south, he's still also sneaking force from the north, forcing Pan Attack to decide what he wants to do here. Thumbs up to Night Raven, that is definitely fairly sneaky and efficient. Jack's being gets assisted, though Ryan's the line file again for a good hit there, punch straight through the side armor. Shannon on the other side, definitely a bit of problem here for Pan up in the east. And there's definitely a bit of hesitancy around the center now. Does he hit northwards? Does he hit southwards? What does Pineapple do? And it seems like he can't quite make up his mind on that account. Shoot them in the gun off there, killing two rivalmen, leaving the rest to retreat. Very good there, unless of course you are Knight Raven, in which case you're not too happy. But it does look now, like now Pineapple is in fact drawing for the command target here versus Knight Raven. A bold choice. We'll have to of course this pace off for him, as it does give Knight Raven more time to bring up more stuff of his own. While he's drawing for that line, just say, you know, pushing for another Pentafall when he could have, but that's just me. One kill on the light in front so far, close for the two, not bad at all, thumbs up. Also got weapon racks out, now with a bunch of BRs out, then cruising the far pay of Night Raven's infantry, very good. Very good, always a good upgrade to have, to be honest, as the Americans. East level there, Parrots with 13 kills, Pantable swinging forwards, Ooh, close call there, but didn't hit anyone. Also very close at the Pantry 2 on that Panther 4, which gets more accuracy, which is obviously really good. There we go, there to gain. In fact, one of the advantages of the Panther 4 more gear, the regular Panther 4 Bama, is besides starting with armor, it also has more accuracy, and the 2 it gets even more. So toss in the Panther Commander, and the 2 Panther 4 mod gear is in fact really accurate, and of course the 4 becomes even more accurate. So that's a, those are some things very well worth keeping in mind. Super Tank North for Tish, going for the MU4 again. Tiger Tank now over here for Pineapple, the Fruit Dude, and the Führer, the Glide Brigade. Can go for the Tiger Tank, but isn't. Guess it's too preoccupied what's going on the front line here. There you go, Tiger Tank out. Can of course only add the Pinamite Machine Gun to it, since it turns out with the Pants Commander, the Command Tiger was simply a bit too good. Throwing head here with this Steel Behemoth. Fight, shot fight the steward, whiffed a bit on that one. So on the points that are being held, get the rough got back to him from the Tiger Tank and his 88 mm gun. Nice shot there, no kill, but definitely takes off a huge chunk of health there. And in the follow up shot, it's likely we get someone killed. Good hit on the Stuart though, by the Tiger. One more shot, and that's going to go down. And he's not moving it fast enough, perhaps not expecting Tiger to move. There we go. Stuart down, could all just be awkward pathing, getting stuck around the well. Certainly painful then for Night Ring, that was the case. And for moving forwards. Doom Punia with a Panther Shrek Tiger Tank holding back. Machine crew that cleared out. Got him the Jackson and the Tiger Tank. Shrek also taking hit here. Lion to the fire there, bouncing off the Jackson's top armor. Though, of course, if Enlightened Finger Shell had hit there, the crew would have been dead in the turret. Not fact. But obviously, the game can't quite model that. It would be impressive if it could, but it can't. Up 
punching them forwards. Perhaps they're being suppressed here. Punching needs to get into heavy column and deal with them close, but also in in <laughs> avoid incoming fire from the American South. Here, another push here by Night Raven. Orbs on being pushed back. Target tank pants while they're holding ready. Drift going to fire, punching being suppressed. Shams flying away. The Temple Rock Bolt shouting forward to the Nagel, straight into the Mifid 4. Could consider popping the MCNR appears around here. We get smoke bombs here from Pineapple. Ooh la la. Titan Pentagon hit. There's Shem could. There we go. Risk a lot of firepower there. Panther 4 misses though. Jackson moving forwards. Nice hit by the Jackson on the Panther 4. Machine and retreating in the face of so much resistance. Back hits reinforcing healing. Another Kenny effort for Pineapple. Both tanks being pulled back. At this point, he may actually want to consider getting another Sturm Punier squad for the repairs. But also, in this case, even just to get another Panzerzweck here versus Night Raven. It's like, you know, having two Panzerzwecks here could, you know, actually provide him with a bit of extra boost on the move. Versus all of Night Raven's stuff. But again, Cruz just provided him with more repairs, which he really badly needs with a Tiger Tank and a Panzer IV. In particular, the Tiger Tank, well, of course, it can absorb more, you know, damage. It also then needs a lot more repair time. Scott for Night Raven, playing some artillery support. They're very good. Thumbs up. Meanwhile, Victory Point leaders starting to look increasingly in the favor of Night Raven and the Second Armored Division. To the fire ring down there. South here we got the Panzer Survivor Squad. Tank through them with some excellent T-33 firepower. 32 kills. Again, D-33 Panzer is once they you know hit a certain spot, just become incredibly good. But again, as we stated now at least a few times, the trick is getting in the way. Titan shoots whiffs. Jackson engaged the tag tank. Shot one through the front llama with ease. The super team also moving in here. I mean, if he can't, you know, get out another Sturm Pioneer squad, which I don't think he's got enough population for. Oh, he does narrowly. But oh, you know, mechanized regiment would also be a good idea at this point. Yeah, he needs to fix up his tanks. And I think, like, he needs to, like, get a bit more aggressive. At times, like, you know, he's just, like, you know, slapping, you know, Night Ring just to run. He's just trying to punch him, like, you know, drive in some deep hits there. Like, he needs to, like, really, like, want to destroy and push back. Night Ring rather than just playing defensively. Now the Rifle Squad shot fired. Whiffed, though. Completely missed there. Lucky for Night Ring and his Rifle Squad. Second shot was a miss as well. They're going to take a problem. Both abilities really good there. Two thumbs up to Night Raven. Gives an increased range and line of fire. Plus, of course, with the armor piercing discarding Sapper Run's ability, increases penetration. Target tank there, close to Veteran 2 1. Three kills, Veteran 2. Need to something out this victory points fast here. Got the uptime pushing head here. 10 kills, but need two. Getting murdered there. Need to treat. Look, Sook, look, Sook, look, Sook. Gets the hell out of there. Oh, he's not paying attention. What a waste of good orbs and Darden. What a waste. Pushing center tight tank around here. 50 in trouble there for sure. They need to be treated very soon before they get annihilated. Still for rain out from the Scotty in the position in the center for under Pineapple's command. Almost got there. Go fifth cut through down. Punches up north of a kid of support going for Rav Squad. Good push here. 33 kills. 18. Just big push here. Completely routing Night Rim's northern forces. Jackson finding the Titan from some of the shots. Take going through. He could actually, I think, try and go in there, finish it off. Taking support with the Panther 4. Shunming into this further assist blocking off here. Panther 4 is holding back here, though, not supporting. Titan here, though. Half A22. Good hit on the Scott there. Good hit. Grabbing the fifth kill, very nice there. Thumbs up to Pineapple. It's a tight tank falling back. If only had the Pantafors already there, I think you could actually like you know done some heavy damage to Night Raven's armored forces. South here, Pantafor pushing forward for Pineapple. Grand Northern Pond here with the Panzer Facilita. You turn Charlie into the Panzer Facilita. That's going to get pain for the for Lieutenant. A grenade here actually pretty good for Panama against the Night Raven's Lieutenant. Rav's called arriving. Might want to get some support now here for the Panzer Facility or retreat them. 36. Need to retreat them now. Oh dear, he's not retreating them in time. They're going to get wiped. At least unless he gets very lucky, they're going to get wiped. Yeah, they got wiped. They're bitter, so they're for Pineapple. Great kill for Night Raven. Getting rid of, like, you know, Pineapple's... At this point, you know, 
most efficient unit with all those kills it committed. Great, they need to treat the officer down. Fat Pine's influence getting scattered at this point. As Night Raven still has like all of his five infantry squads. Piling just a good job, then keeping his infantry alive compared to Pine. There you go, the Obsidian squad wiped as well. Huge blow to Pine. Now he has no Obsidian left. He's down just one Panzer for the squad and the Sturm Punier. While again, his opponent still has five infantry squads. That is a definite cataclysmic blow here to Pineapple. He will absolutely need to replace those losses, and soon. They may want to go for another Pantafor before that. Anyways, Pantafor in the south needs to get out of there. Seems like Pineapple's starting to struggle here, man, in the fight. Like, you know, we see, like, several times, this seems almost like he's forgotten here, and he's trying to, like, you know, keep everything going at the same time. So it might be that Pineapple maybe being is being worn out a bit here by Fatigue versus Night Raven. That is possible. That is always possible. South here, Patrick, and Fourth Pack of Rifle. Great hit from the target, turning that punch from the crew down. Chairman here versus the 50th North and the Academy Alpha. Punch there being slowly shot to bits. Nice shot on this Sherman there by the target tank, which gains 22. Increases accuracy and range, which is always great for the Tiger tank. Another Panther for the for Pineapple. But he's down just the Sturm Pioneer now. Pineapple has next to no infantry. Even though he's got multiple machine guns, multiple tanks without enough infantry, there's going to be limits to what he can actually achieve here versus Night Raven. So he definitely needs to do something about that as well very soon. North End Machine defending the point here. That said, I think you should turn another position like the heavy cover up here. This is definitely asking for trouble, I think. Scott to deal with machine gun, very good. Panther 4 number 2 almost done. At this point, I probably recommend more Sturm Punier first. Give him equipment with a pantry, that way he's got more ways of repairing his tanks, giving him fight faster and more consistently. And then he should probably just go for more Panzer Lila and Orbital Darden. Grayson's pinned down there. Machine gun, oh, Lieutenant Ground Northern Victory Point, so I'm still remaining to American. We got 66, 193, and there you go. Another Panther 4 ready there for Pineapple for Germany. Deutschland. It's Panther 4 going for the Sherman. Benson free there, shot bounce though. Shot bouncer from the Sherman as well. Second shot whiffs and just misses. Ooh, almost got the Sherman here. Oh, Batman here with Pat Nightwing gets stuck there in train. But there you go, we got Spot called in. Needs to immediately pop the Shvel Punted Quarters anti aircraft mode here. Have the third from a flat far away there. Keith was up going for the Tiger Tank here. He's not activating it. There's too much going on here for Pineapple, I think. Too much going on. Still Pineapple's looking to wipe this wall there. He's going for folks kind of these old things. Not good. Good hit by the artillery there, and the parrot was caught almost taken out, but he really needs more Sturm Punita to repel of his armor and cause support with his infantry more assault troops there. A Kevin Clubs being wiped out, never pushed too far, there we go. Lost it, another Sherman there for Night Raven. Grand McKenna, this is getting increasingly uncomfortable for Pineapple, increasingly uncomfortable. Finally activate the Shvair Punch course well there, but maybe a bit too late by now. Aircraft shot down, hammering into the cold, unforgiving ground. So there you go, Fultzka scored out there for Pineapple. Again, I definitely think you shouldn't have gone for that. Like, even Pants would now make more sense because you could just immediately upgrade them to like, you know, being a six-man score for Triple G for the Greece, which is honestly going to be a lot more effective as a lot of the things in the field than a Fultzka be a squad. Aircraft shot down. Almost a machine gun. That's a bit awkward. Tanks are ready there. That's only fought on the Panzer Kampfung Fias von Gjord in the south going for the two point here. We got 52 versus 193 here. Things are hanging in the balance here. Pineapple enjoys the arm advantage, but infantry wise, he is in a really, really bad place. Meanwhile, Night Raven has an indefinite infantry advantage, but it's struggling a bit in the armor department. But he also has a big two point lead, which definitely shouldn't be scoffed there either. Still firing down the into tank gun crew. Does a tiny bit of damage, but nothing significant. Nothing significant. Folks with the paratroopers. I still find the Fox gonna be there. Pantor's flanking into Jackson. Very good, very good. Great push here, but actually should have gone for Blitzkrieg to increase the mobility and the rate of fire, maybe giving a better chance of fixing the off Jackson fast, and he doesn't finish it off. He doesn't. Ah. I feel like that was a mistake though, Pan. I think she's just gone for the kill. Like he's already like in the, you know an awkward spot, but like if he doesn't like, you know. Go for some killing blows here and Pine oh, Night Raven. Pineapple is a good chance of losing. Like, he needs to, like, get those kills in there. 
we need to do the fast as well, of course, because Ollie's just going to take a lot of firepower to turn from Night Raven. Stump Pioneer's going away there for Pineapple. Finally going for more Stump Pioneer. But again, he's got like a lot of armor, which is in dying need of repair. So more Stump Pioneers will be needed. It's that again on Mechanized Direction to repair Pioneers. Machine getting hammered. But considering he also needs more infantry, Stump Pioneers definitely make a lot more sense to go for now, since of course they can perform infantry duties. Still lost the machine gun here. Got yeah, 5th 176, target training there, half 8 of Epsilon 3, or command target specifically. Fixing up the Panzer 4, second Sturm Pioneer squad ready, adding the March for kits, but you know, should also just add the Panzer Trick to be honest, like just whatever you can add and enter tank there, I think it's going to be a fairly de decent idea. And this first Panzer 4 they're almost fixed up, second one they're waiting for repairs, though he honestly should have focused on that one I think, even though that one's a bit more, you know, took legs time to repair, this is the more veteran one which is almost ace level, and I think that should be the priority there for Panzer to fix up fast, but oh well, doesn't matter too much, since again, he does have two strong Pioneer squads now, including one, you know, which is veteran 3 and repair kit, or the, you know, support package and all it has as well, so it's not going like, to take forever to fix up that Panzer 4. Nice hit there by the Jackson, the Pantor, gaining Metsu 3 and the Ace level. Hits the Brown there, targeting him on the flank here, shoots and whiffs. Being forced to push in the Pantor there to the front line. Pushing and then needs to get out of the focus, cleared up by American Artillery. Titan shoots whiffs. Pantor they're almost fixed up. Other one now need to die repairs again. The Sturm Pioneers can sort it out swiftly, but there's just so much that needs to be sorted here for Pineapple. Smoke bombs here, probably around there. The uh, western side help you with Jackson, Panther 4, Ace, and the Titan moving forward. Demi Ace. Shot fired, whiffed. Going for the Jackson, need to use the common glitch on the Panther 4. And he's got plenty of munitions, so I don't really know why he's not going for it. Like, remember, it's not just like mobility gives, it's rate of fire boost. And there's the Panda 4. Too slow there for Pineapple, too slow. Great kill there by Night Raven. That's what called in the anti tank, clearing it out there. But Pineapple's taking so much damage. So many losses in the process here. Finally got the Jackson, but at an incredibly high cost of both the almost ace, if not ace, Panda 4 and the Tiger tank. Now it's done just one Panda 4. And he's still super short in infantry as well compared to his opponent. So the situation here for Pineapple is more or less about to go off a cliff here. Storm Pioneer pushing forwards. Machine like in. in the south. Enemy rifle, forward, shoots and gains virtually two. Pentacles is the paratrooper storm pinging forwards. Concussion grenade here would be an idea in the south. Here, machine flank with the lieutenant. Good flank there by Night Raven. We've got 29, that's on the 65. I th I th is Pine going to try and stall for like a Tiger tank again? I think that's going to be an incredibly bad idea. Like, he needs more armor now and still more infantry. He needs so much more infantry badly. And he's about to lose control of victory points again. Need to get them in the northern point there, I think. He hasn't even upgraded the folks companies, which is definitely also a bit of a stand up moment. But there you go. Southern point by being grabbed, center one being lost as well to the Americans. I think at this point the match is yep, beyond his control. And there you go. Game over. Pops out there. So GG game over. A victory for Night Raven. A loss for Pineapple. A great fight here though. Certainly highlighting the power of the Panzer Lila and such. But in the end, I feel like Pineapple just got a bit too timid. Didn't like get aggressive enough. Like didn't try to just grab Night Raven by the throat and just, you know, punch him in the gut. You really need to like get more aggressive, more violent at times with the Germans. And instead, like, he tried to, like, just, you know, hope Nightwing would make a mistake he could punish him for. Which is allowed Nightwing to keep up going and keep up pressure, then just slowly grind down pineapples. So, there you go. Hope you enjoyed this match. Hope you learned something from it. If you did, subscribe, like, share, comment on it. Tell a friend, tell a family, do tell me. And, of course, you do like what do. I do. I wish you support. You can donate. You can pledge to my Patreon. Links in the description. This is Imperial Links in Tears. Thank you for watching. Until tomorrow again for another episode. Bye.